Hi guys, this is Desmond Almeida back for Visual Realist Developers. Today we're going to be talking about one of the widely asked topics to me as personally as a developer and uh, things that people crave for all the time but really need to understand. And uh, that one topic is CRZ, Coastal, Coastal Regulation Zone. The problem is that a lot of people underestimate this respective zone just because they have uh, over and above uh, inflow of cash uh, and uh, they're willing to spend so much, a lot maybe, but they really think that they can bypass these rules and regulations and this is where a lot of people really get into trouble and uh, major projects in Goa have uh, been stopped, demolished uh, or uh, not been given the permission and people have been stuck with huge sums of money. And this is why I will, I'm making a special playlist or a special channel altogether uh, for uh, on making you all out there understand what is this CRZ, why is it important and uh, why do you need to know about it before you purchase your dream property that touches the sea or touches the river or overviews or is just away from the shoreline. These are the things that you need to know and you need to understand and not uh, not underestimate before you purchase a plot that comes under this respective purview. So without much delay, let's begin today's video. Now, I will be making these short videos uh, which uh, you can easily use uh, to understand, assess the exact topic the, or the part of CRZ that you are in search of or that is applicable to you or that you want to educate yourself about. Uh, for today, I'm just going to be talking about a very small brief history of, of uh, CRZ. So even you all can get a good idea. Feel free to go into the next videos. And uh, <clears throat> let's begin uh, the history of CRZ. Now, CRZ was something that was initiated first in 1981 when, uh, the, when the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi issued a letter that uh, notified that there is a need to protect and uh, not allow unnecessary developments or over above developments taking place in the coastal region. This is where the Minister of uh, Environment or the Environmental Minister uh, issued or processed the, the CRZ notification over the respective period and it was issued by the Ministry of uh, Environment and Forest under the Environmental Protection Act of 1986. Now in Goa it was well better formulated and made applicable in the year 1991. Also fun fact, Goa has a coastal line as you can see how Goa is and it's been famous for its beaches ever since. If you have a coastal line of exactly 105 uh, kilometers. Now what was the main purpose of the CRZ Act? It was mainly to control and minimize and protect the environmental damage in sensitive areas. Uh, this is where the government declared certain notified, so under the CRZ certain areas were declared as, uh, the, as, as protected under the CRZ Act or the CRZ notification. Uh, these were mostly areas that were between the high tide and the low tide line of, from, from a respective uh, range from uh, the shoreline. Mostly it included beaches, creeks, uh, backwaters, rivers, bays, uh, mangroved areas and much more uh, respective uh, regions at the same time. Uh, you will see much more of a breakdown of these uh, what are, of what these regions are in uh, the next upcoming uh, videos. Now, the main aim was to make sure the, that the development in these respective region, regions were regulated. And uh, you can say that CRZ has been in some way a product of the pressure of huge lobbies of construction who really tried to make sure that they were able to build more. However, uh, as you can see currently in Goa, that's still not been enough and uh, there's been a huge rise in illegal structures in uh, the coastal regulation uh, zone. However, I assure you these are some things that will really come back uh, to catch you one day. If you feel that you've bypassed these respective rules and regulation, there's been, a huge, there's been a huge number of cases where these things have come back to you one day or the other. You may have the power and the money today if you feel but uh, one day these rules will be the thing that will come back to you and bite you for the investments and uh, the bypasses that you did at that point of time. So that's why it's very important to take these respective uh, regulations seriously and not joke about them and uh, try to use your power and authority to get things done for you. Now, this is one of those laws that put India in one of those few countries that had a special uh, regulatory, uh, regulation zone or regulation uh, management act 
for the purpose of making sure that the coastal uh, regions are protected. Not a lot of countries have uh, such a form of act or uh, regulation making sure the coastal zones or any form of natural water bodies are protected. Now, basically, the CRZ was classified into CRZ zones were classified into four uh, basic parts. Uh, the, the, the the explanation of each of them will be coming up in the next upcoming uh, videos. I will be giving you a basic walkthrough of them in the next video itself. And uh, <coughs> CRZ basically is one of those things that you need to understand, you need to respect, and. If you're a person, specifically, this is specifically uh, tying to Goa. If you're a person who is coming from outside to Goa to invest in a property, please do go ahead for it. Yeah, you're not really making a difference to the economy over here. But at the end of it, always respect the rules and regulation of what is happening, the ecosystem over here. Try not bypassing things that are, uh, that are that have been actually established and respect the ecosystem over here. And I assure you, whatever you're planning on setup will really do well. If not, it is going to come back to you one day. This is Desu Lagmira signing out for Visual Real Estate Developers. I look forward for educating you all more and providing you all with more information. And I really look forward for you all checking out the next upcoming videos. Please do like, share and subscribe. And uh, feel free to share this content with the respective family and friends, whoever this content may be useful for. Thank you so much again. Uh, goodbye.